know what we mean by resources. Resources uh, are the input used in the production. Uh, so we can consider resources as a factors of production. As we all know that factor of production is land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. So resources, all the inputs that we put in the process to produce outputs. So in other words, we can say that resources are the factors of production. Economic resources, we deal in economic resources with supply of resources, demand of resources, and allocation of resources. So economic resources deals with the supply of resources, demand of resources, and allocation of resources. Resources scarcity, we mean by resources scarcity, shortage of resources. We have two types of resources scarcity. First type, absolute scarcity, which means no resources. We have no resources at all. Second type, relative scarcity. Relative scarcity means that resources is not enough to cover our needs. So we have two types of economic scarcity. Absolute scarcity, which means no resources at all. Second type is relative scarcity. Resources is not enough to cover our need. As we know that economic problem is that we have unlimited wants, unlimited needs, and limited resources. So we will study the limited resources. Again, economic, re economic problem, when we have unlimited wants, unlimited needs, and limited resources. First topic will be population. Population size, population size is affected by three factors. First, birth rate. Second, death rate. And finally, external migration. Again, population size or population growth is affected by three factors. First factor, birth rate. We have also death rate and external migration to determine the population growth or population size. For birth rate, what we mean by birth rate? Birth rate is the number of life births per thousand of population in a given year. Again, birth rate is the number of life births per thousand of population in a given year. So we can calculate birth rate using the following equation. Birth rate equal number of life births in a given year divided by Total population times 1,000. Again, per street is the number of life births per thousand of population in a given year. So, to calculate per street, we use the following equation. Per street equal number of life births in a given year divided by total population times 1,000. What are the main factors affecting birth rate? The main factors affecting birth rate, we have demographic factors, education, wars, and social attitudes. The main factors affecting birth rate, demographic factors, education, wars, and social attitudes. First, for demographic factors. We mean by demographic factors the population structure. Population structure, we have age structure and sex structure. Population structure or age structure that we classified population according to age to three groups. First group is children from 0 to 20. Second group, working age population from 20 to 60 years. Last group or third group of population old or retired people who are over 60 years again each population structure we classify population according to age to three groups first children from 0 to 20 second group from 20 to 60 working age population last group old people or retired people who are over 60 years so, 
countries with high proportion of young adults will tend to have high birth rate. On the other hand, countries with high percentage of children or aged people who are old and retired tend to have low birth rate. So, how demographic factors affecting birth rate? Countries with a high proportion of young adults, uh, second group from 20 to 60 years, will tend to have high birth rate. On the other hand, countries with high percentage of children or aged people, aged people, old and retired people over 60 years, will tend to have low birth rate. <coughs> Second factor is education. The more advanced the level of education reached, the smaller will be the average size of families. Again, the more the levels of education reached, the smaller will be the average size of family. Educated people are better informed about the costs and duties of parenthood, so it's likely that the birth rate will fall. A third factor is social attitudes. Social attitudes like marriage age, social attitudes regarding the big family, the need for a boy, all these values are social factors affecting the birth rate. Number four, wars. Wars usually reduce population growth for only one generation. But after war, birth rate will increase. Death rate. Death rate is the number of death per thousand of population in a given year. Death rate can be calculated using the following equation. Death rate equal number of death in a given year divided by total population times 1000. So, the factors affecting population size, the factor affecting population growth, first, birth rate. Birth rate is the number of life births per thousand of population in a given year. Second, death rate. Death rate is the number of deaths per thousand of population in a given year. So we can calculate death rate using the following equation. Death rate equal number of deaths in a given year divided by total population times 1000. What are the main factors affecting death rate? The main factors affecting death rate, we have demographic factors, standard of medical care, occupations, and place of residence. First, demographic factors. Countries with high proportion of aged people, aged people, old and retired people, aged people over 60 years old, will have generally high death rate. Again, demographic factors, countries with high proportion of aged people will have generally high death rates. <coughs> Second factor, the standard of medical care. The better the medical services and health care, the lower will be the death rates. The better the medical services and health care, the lower will be the death rates. <clears throat> Three occupations. Certain occupations, certain jobs are more dangerous than others. Therefore, lead to a great number of deaths. Again, certain jobs, certain occupations are more dangerous than other occupations. So, will increase death rate. For example, building and construction activities. Four, place of residence. Generally, death rates are higher in urban areas than in the countryside. This is related to such factors like high traffic density, pollution 
and crowded living condition. So the main factors affecting this rate, we have demographic factors, standard of medical services, occupations and place of residence. Natural increase rate of population equal birth rate minus death rate. Again, natural increase rate of population equal birth rate minus death rate. As we know that birth rate is the number of life births per 1000 of population. We calculate birth rate but the number of life births in a given year divided by total population times 1000. This rate, this rate, number of life deaths, number of deaths in a given year divided by total population times 1000. So, natural increase rate of population equal birth rate minus death rate. Last factor affecting population size, affecting population growth, is external migration. We said that we have three factors affecting population growth or affecting population size. We have birth rate, death rate, and external migration. For external migration, migration happens when people leave the country. This is called immigration or outflow. Or when people enter the country, this is called immigration inflow. Again, migration happens when people leave the country. This is called immigration, which means outflow, outflow from the country. Or when people enter the country, this is called immigration inflow. Net migration rate equal immigration immigration rate inflow minus immigration rate outflow most migration happen for economic reasons in order to improve their income most migration happen for economic reasons most migrations to increase income so if we exclude migration for reasons like education and marriage, then migration is to move from areas of low levels of economic opportunity to areas where opportunity are expected to be better, to improve the income. Again, net migration rate equal inflow minus an outflow of migration. How to calculate population growth rate? To calculate population growth rate, we use this equation. Population growth rate equal number of births minus number of death plus number of immigration inflow minus number of immigration inflow, uh, sorry, outflow divided by initial population times 100. Again, population growth rate equal number of births minus number of deaths plus number of immigrants inflow minus number of immigrants outflow divided by initial population times 100. So, population size or population growth affected by three factors first rate death rate and external migration first rate as we said is the number of life per per 1000 of population so we calculate first rate number of life per in a given year divided by total population times 1000 this rate, this rate, number of deaths in a given year divided by total population times 1000. So, to calculate population growth rate, we have number of births minus number of deaths 
plus number of inflow minus number of outflow of migration divided by initial population times 100. Problem 1. Country A initial population is 5,000. Number of births per year is 125. Number of deaths per year is 75. Inflow immigration brings in 100 new people annually. Immigration has 10 living. From the above information, calculate the following. First, natural increase rate, net migration rate, and population growth rate. So we have three requirements from the above information. First, we have to calculate natural increase rate. How to calculate natural increase rate? Natural increase rate equal birth rate minus death rate. Birth rate equal 120. 5 divided by total population 5,000 times 1,000 equal 25. Again, per street equal number of life pers divided by total population times 1,000. So, per street equal 125 divided by 5,000 times 1000 equal 25 the same for death rate death rate equal number of death divided by total population times 1000 so death rate equal 75 divided by total population 5000 times 1000 equal 15 so, natural increase rate of population equal birth rate minus death rate equal 25 minus 15 equal 10. So, the first requirement is 10. The natural increase rate of population 10. We calculate birth rate, death rate, and natural increase rate of population. Again, per rate would equal 125 divided by 5,000 times 1,000 equal 25. Death rate equal 75 divided by total population 5,000 times 1,000 equal 15. <coughs> Natural increase rate equal per rate minus death rate equal 25 minus 15 equal 10. Second requirement net migration rate. To calculate net migration rate we have immigration rate and immigration rate. So immigration rate equal 100 divided by total population 5000 times 1000 equal 20. Immigration rate equal <clears throat> 10 divided by total population 5,000 times 1,000 equal 2. So, net migration rate will equal 20 minus 2 equal 18. Let's know what we mean by resources. Resources uh, are the input uh, used in the production. Uh, so, we can consider resources as a factors of production. As we all know that factor of production is land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. So resources, all the inputs that we put in the process to produce outputs. So in other words, we can say that resources are the factors of production. Economic resources, we deal in economic resources with supply of resources, demand of resources, and allocation of resources. So, economic resources deals with the supply of resources, demand of resources, and allocation of resources.
Second problem in town Mali there were 5,663 purse and we have the total population so the requirement to calculate the purse rate it's very easy problem to calculate purse rate as we know that to calculate purse rate we have the number of life purse divided by total population times 1000 so purse rate equal number of life purse divided by total population times 1000 so purse rate will equal 37.9 percent again to calculate purse rate we have number of life purse divided by total population times 1000 so purse rate will equal 37.9 percent very easy problem third problem in 1950 the population in thousand for Mali was 2353 in year 2000 population was 8353 find the rate of growth of population again in 1950 the population for Mali in thousand was 2353 in year 2000 the population <coughs> was 8353 and we have to find the rate of growth of population how to calculate the rate of growth of population we will calculate it by the number of population in year 2000 minus number of population in 1950 divided by number of population for the bees year which is 1950 again to calculate the rate of growth of population the population growth rate will equal population number in year 2000 minus population size in 1950 divided by population number in 1950 <clears throat> so the rate of growth will equal 2.5 percent natural increase rate of population equal purse rate minus death rate again natural increase rate of population equal purse rate minus death rate as we know that purse rate is the number of life purse per 1000 of population we calculate purse rate by the number of life purse in a given year divided by total population times 1000 this rate this rate number of life deaths number of deaths in a given year divided by total population times 1000 so natural increase rate of population equal per first demographic factors countries with high proportion of aged people aged people old and retired people aged people over 60 years old will have generally high death rate again demographic factors countries with high proportion of aged people will have generally high death rates <coughs> second factor the standard of medical care the better the medical services and health care the lower will be 